it's Gina. Welcome back. Um, just want to thank everybody um, who's joining today to look at the, my latest journal. This is a um, design team project for Seneca Pond Crafts, and this kit I'm using is Feminine Wiles. So um, I will put the link below to this kit. Um, it is a mini book kit, but um, I have taken it and turned it into a little uh, mini junk journal. Um, so I'll just start going through and showing you guys what I've done. Um, this is an altered book. It's been a while since I've done one of these. And uh, I had some deco paper, uh, decoupage paper. So I thought, when as soon as I saw the kit, um, I knew this was going to coordinate nicely with it. So I went over um, the book with the paper. It's been Mod Podge, so um, you know it's got a nice protective layer on it. And then I've come back in and um, created two pockets with the um, the book cover kit. Um, so let me just get. I've got a little postcard in the front one. I didn't put one in the back, but um, you can see there's a little tuck spot there, so you could you could put some notes in there as well. And this is one of the postcards from the kit. Stunning images. Um, Eileen's done it again. Love it, love it, love it. Um, on the spine, I've just added some of this trim. Um, here I've put a little applique with, it's got some sequins and pearls, and then I've just lightly went over it with some um, Winkostella, so it's got just a little bit of glitter. I don't know if that's showing up on the camera or not, but in person you can see it. It's just a nice little touch, I think. Um, the closure is just some organza ribbon. Um, and I'll just go inside here. Um, so inside I took some of the background paper and have uh, lined the front and back covers. I've added some of this little heart um, if this is a French trim that I recently purchased uh, from a shop here. Here's um, another one of the little appliques. This is one of the pockets that's in the kit. And then these little um, little booklets come in, come in it. And I've just hand stamped some little tags and tucked those in there. This has been stitched. So I've done some stitching throughout the journal as well. Um, let's see, the, it measures five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. It's got 88 pages and it's a two signature. Um, here again I've put a bit more of the Wink of Stella so that just brings out um, the image just a little bit more. Um, added some trim here. Um, and then this is one of the journaling cards that comes with the kit. Um, this kit, as I said, if you didn't want to make a junk journal, Eileen always includes instructions on how to, cre to create the booklet. So they're a lot of fun. I think these are just great um, for anybody that does a lot of craft fairs. I, I think these are just perfect for that. And here I've just created another little pocket with one of the background pages. I've put a little hand crocheted um, flower there. Uh, here I've done a pocket and tucked away one of the postcards from the kit. And then I've come back in and created another little um, uh, ribbon belly band there. And then this is from the kit and then I've included some of these little um, these are not vintage postcards, they're like a, um, you know, a replica of vintage, but it just went perfectly with this, um, so I had to include those. I've got a couple, I think I've got three of those I've put in with this, because they were just, it just looked like it had to go with this kit. I love it. I just think this is such a fun kit. It's um, just beautiful. Here I've got, I've done some hand stamping throughout, I've done some punching on the corners, and then I've added some more of the um, avocado skin paper because it complements the colors. It's, it's a gray and a blush pink um, with a little bit of like a, um, 
where you've got some sage greens and things going on and that just I thought that complemented it really nicely. Got a doily, of course, and then here I've just cut out a little um, mason jar that I've got. And here I created like a floating pocket that holds the tag, attached more lace to it, and that's just pinned in so you could move that throughout the journal where you wanted. Some tracing paper in it. Here's a um, bag for a pocket. Some all the papers are tea stained, so it's a really light um, coloring. Here, I've this is one of the pockets, and um, I've attached I've, with the tag. I've put some eyelash trim and some seam binding, and then I've copied several uh, French receipts and just tucked those in throughout the journal. The center of the signature. I love this; just so pretty. Um, I've just attached a couple of little butterflies for the center. Here, um, this is like a little flip over page. And then I've just put a little pocket here. I've done some script stamping on the back there. Here is another one of the images. Um, it's a postcard, as I said. Um, I love that. I think that really, really suits this. And then these are little um, pockets with little journaling tags inside. I love these. They are so sweet. I just, I really like the size of them. I think they're really dainty and I love this journal because I like, as you guys know, I prefer the smaller journals and um, so this one I really, I really enjoyed creating because I, I do like the smaller things. I, th I just think they really have a nice feel to them. Um, here I've got another little vintage receipt I've printed out and then I just did a little um, mini file folder, or Rolodex card, sorry, and then um, with some coordinating uh, scrapbook paper that I had. Like I said, there's um, 88 eight pages front and backs for you to do journaling on. Um, all of the um, cardstock has been printed on. It's not really a cream. I call it kind of like a winter white because it's not white, but it's not cream. But um, so, you know, there's no stark white um, backgrounds on this. Here is a, um, I created, this is one of the background pages. I printed that out on cardstock and then I did some of this fancy stitching. I love that. It reminds me of, <laughs> oh, you guys are going to think I'm so trashy. It reminds me of like a net stocking and I thought, oh, that is, that just goes perfect with this. <laughs> yeah. But when you think of France, I suppose you think, uh, you know, of Paris, you think of, um, you know, all that, you know, really frilly things, and so I thought that was really a nice little uh, detail. Here I've got another little pocket um, created there, and I've just sewn on a little button with some trim. That's the end of the first signature. Aren't these pretty? And then I've done the same thing here. You've got another nice big pocket that you can stick things in. Again, I've stitched another little button there. Some more stamping. And some more of that um, avocado, avocado skin paper. Love this. Um, these are the little journaling cards that you get throughout attached to a little pearl there. And here's a little glass scene. It's one of the clear front um, glassine type bags. And here this one flips over. Um, found this little bit. It's got some gold in it. I thought that went really nice with it. Here I've just added the journaling tag. Um, these are like two journaling cards. I've just created a little booklet and there's a little um, 
pocket on the front and the back, and I've just put a couple of tiny tags in there, so a bit more writing space, and that's tucked in here. That's another of the little postcards. I love that. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to print that out. I've got some ideas on what I'm going to do with that. I love that one in particular. Just gorgeous. As you guys know, I like I like the coming up with um, other ways to use these digital kits. Um, I really started out <coughs> with um, in card making, so I do enjoy making cards because um, it's a nice short project. Because I oftentimes don't, you know, I don't have the time or maybe even the focus to to do a journal and I but I love to create I have to do some kind of creating most every day um, I try to because it's I just kind of need it it's almost like therapy for me um, but as I said oftentimes I can't be focused on a full journal so card making really fills that gap for me and um, and I do think this is going to make a fabulous uh, vintage style card so stay tuned I am slowly getting more organized guys I know I've been talking about all these things I'm going to do <laughs> I do have big plans but uh, but I am trying to really get into um, a routine now that things are starting to settle down for me a little bit more so please bear with me I am going to try to get to these these things that I've been talking about for so so long <laughs> Um, just another little tag I made out of some extra scrapbook paper. But look at that. I love those colors together. Gosh, they are stunning. And here, this is one of the um, kind of like a tag style pocket that comes in the kit. Um, this is the center of the signature. Absolutely gorgeous. So, so pretty. Here, I've done a little tuck spot, added another little embellishment there. That's another of the um, beautiful postcards. This was printed off the internet, so another little French receipt. And here I've got another little belly band. I've, I've left, you know, a few places without things simply because this is just getting huge. So um, there's there's a lot of tags and journaling um, cards in the kit. But obviously, you know, I wanted to leave some room. And, oh, I should point out, yes, that this is actually a, um, sorry, let me just, this is a double um, belly, you know, like tuck spot. So you can do lots there. Um, this page I've done another of the pockets. That's another of the journaling cards. And I tuck that in the pocket and then this belly band has been created with this is one of the pieces from the kit and then I put that over some of the um, ribbon that I've got and I love that because the black stripe I thought was perfect for this. But there's another one of those nostalgia postcards and I love that. I think that's just goes so good with this. <laughs> Here I've just done a little um, little uh, doily that I've cut out and then I put a little um, button and stitch that on. In this pocket I put another one of the mini um, Rolodex cards and this is a, um, I've got this at, at the, the flea market and antique show here and this is an actual vintage check dated uh, June 24th, 1907 uh, from a London bank here. So that's been included. Tuck that in there. And this is another little, little um, pocket and tags. And then I've got some more eyelash trim and seam binding there. This is the uh, back with another of the journaling cards that slide into the pockets. Love those. Look at that image. 
so pretty. And then this is the back of the, of the uh, journal, and I've done another of these little um, pockets, and I've tucked that in there for you to, to, you've got like a double pocket there, you can add some items, and then you've got the pocket on the back again, so it's, it's big. It's, it's a lot in, in a very small journal. So um, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Do check out uh, Seneca Pond Craft on uh, Etsy. She's got some beautiful, beautiful kits. And I appreciate you guys coming by today to look. Um, hope you'll leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys very soon. Happy Thanksgiving to the, my friends in U.S. Take care. Bye.